Hey folks, welcome back again to one of my in-car videos for Piston.my. Uh, I hope you've been enjoy enjoying the site. It's been uh, about six months now that I took over Piston.my. And although it's been around since 2015, uh, it's finally gone into high gear uh, as of um, mid-January this year, 2018. So I hope you've been, been enjoying. Uh, in case you haven't checked out the site recently, it's www.piston, as in, yeah, the piston that's in your car, uh, .my. So, okay, so June 1 has come and gone, and uh, we're back to zero GST, yay! We're back to zero GST, and before the implementation of SST, um, there seems to be like a tax break holiday going on right now, uh, especially in the world of cars. Um, so, I decided to put on my thinking cap, it didn't last very long, I took it off, I threw it away, and decided to think, now, let's see, what is there available in the market right now that's quite possibly the best deal in town. Well, I gave it a bit of thought and I came up with the conclusion that this, right now, is the best deal in town. I'm driving the Honda City. Now, it's not a brand new Honda City. It's been around for a while. It's got uh, almost 10,000 kilometers on the, on the odometer. But I pulled it out from Honda Malaysia to have a go at it. And the reason why I did this, this is the petrol version. It's got airbags, it's got ABS, it's got EBD, electronic brake force distribution, it's got traction control. So in terms of passive and safety, sorry, passive and uh, active safety, it's it's got all of it. It's right up there. Honda has produced, even in their lowest range, um, a very, very safe car. So I've been driving it now for a week, and believe it or not, I've only used a quarter of the fuel that the car came with. It came with, with full. And I've done a week's worth of driving, a weekend's worth of driving, and it's got still three quarters uh, a tank of fuel left. Three quarters fuel. My average consumption is, oh wait, I haven't, I haven't reset it yet, so that could be the old one. <laughs> anyway, in terms of the best value for money buy right now, this car has to be somewhere at the top of the list. Now, let's discount um, first and national, second car makers, yeah? Let's talk about a good brand, you know, a reliable brand, a known brand, a brand you trust, Honda, and you want to get something that, you know, could be your first car or maybe even a second car for the family, it's a four-door sedan, it sits in the B segment, but you never know it because from the inside, yeah, don't forget, the Japanese have been building cars from the inside out for the longest time rather than outside in. So the space inside is really, really good, and this is all yours including cruise control, all yours for less than 70,000 ringgit now. 70,000, less than 70,000 ringgit gets you a Honda City. A very nice Honda City. Not just, we're not talking about a car that, you know, with unpainted bumpers and steel wheels. We're talking about a fully specced B-segment sedan, four-door sedan, for less than 70,000 ringgit from Honda. Yeah, I said Honda. I've been driving this now and I can't seem to fault it. Even the CVT gearbox. Now, you all know how I feel about CVT gearboxes. You all know how I feel about them. But I can't really hear this one. And thanks to the paddle shifts, which I'm just playing with right now, this gearbox is actually quite nice. For a CVT, it is actually quite nice. So, looking for a car, a brand new car I might add, where you can actually get it for almost no money down. Yep, the down payment is like less than 10 grand. And I think now with the Raya promotion, it's like you just take it and go first, pay later. You know, full warranty, parts and service as well. This is a no-brainer. This is pretty much a no-brainer. I just met somebody who has had one for about a year and she has no complaints about it whatsoever. None. She loves it. It's a, it's a very nice PPG car. PPG means put petrol and go. Really, I don't know what else you could be looking at. If you're looking for something non-national and something that will cost you less than 70,000 ringgit right now, this has got to be on your shortlist. This has really, really got to be on your shortlist. Like I said, like I've always said, I'm not telling you to go out and buy one. I'm just giving you an option of what's available out there before you plonk your money onto something that you maybe you might regret later. Go have a look at the Honda City. They've been selling like hotcakes and for good reason. This is a good car. It's very well appointed, it's very well specced, the NVH is good, the suspension is good, it's comfortable. You can go long distance, you can go short distance, you can commute. This car will do it all. 
really, I think this car will really do it all. Except maybe go off-road, but you know, that's a different kettle of fish, let's not even talk about that. I'm not sure what the top speed is, but I'm very sure it's, it's a lot more than the uh, national highway speed limit of 110. Which in some areas is a bit ridiculous, because there are some areas of the highway that actually go down to 90, and I have no reason, no idea why. Because that could actually be dangerous. When you go that slow, you tend to get a bit more um, drowsy, you tend to get a little bit le a more distracted, uh, less observant. It can, it can lead to a lot of problems. So our highways are getting better, so the, uh, the speed limit maybe should be increased a little bit in certain areas. I'm not saying we're not ready for an autobahn just yet, or ever. And the reason for that is because Malaysians still don't know how to drive within the lines. Uh, they still meander between lines and that's, that's a big no-no when it comes to having a highway without a speed limit. If you ever drive on the autobahn, and I do wish that someday you do, you will see what I mean. Because you can overtake cars at 200 kilometers an hour that are doing just 100 and they will not budge an inch to make you lift off. You know for a fact that if they're in their lane, they're going to stay in their lane. Because if you're coming at 200 kilometers an hour and they're doing only 100, from 100 yards away, you're going to be at their rear bumper in two seconds. And they know it. So, they are disciplined. We don't have lane discipline. We've never had lane discipline. I don't see it happening anytime soon either. But um, someday, maybe, not in my lifetime, we might have an autobahn, but not just yet. So in the meantime, enjoy the drive. Selamat Hari Raya to all our Muslim friends. Maaf Zahir dan Batin. If I've done anything wrong to offend you in, in the last um, videos, uh, I do apologize. It was not my intention. You know me. Uh, sometimes I say things that are a bit weird. Sometimes I say things that are just outright wrong. Uh, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, so in the spirit of uh, Ramadan, um, Sorry for any shortcomings that have happened and I wish all our Muslim friends a wonderful Hari Raya. Please be safe on the road. You know as well as I do, there's going to be tons of traffic out there. A lot of people going back to, the, to their hometowns, a lot of traffic on the road. Be patient. Um, keep some water in the car, you know, keep some water in the car. Uh, keep some snacks because it's going to be a long drive and if you feel tired, please pull over at a safe area rest and then continue remember it's always 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 better late than never you know better late than never let's hope uh, you all i wish you all this to where you're wherever you're going i wish you all a safe journey and uh, just get to where you're going safely and and enjoy the enjoy the raya celebrations enjoy the food and uh, come back safe as well so until the next video um i'll see you all again and take care god bless bye